Hello, this is Lawrence, and today I will be reviewing Connectimals for the Connect. Um, this game, it's it's fairly kiddy, but if you get past like how it, the little flying thing talks down to you, um, then the game's actually all right. Let's see. The cats are absolutely adorable. Um, for those of you that are girls or have um, girlfriends or friends that are girls, um, this will go over well, I'm sure, at least for a little while. Um, even my wife was won over by it. She wanted to play and pet the kitty. Although she called, when you pet the kitty, which I'll show you in a little bit, your creepy ghost hands. Actually, let's just start off with the creepy ghost hands. My lion cub is called Caramon. Very affectionate. Let's see. Okay, this symbol right here is how you say you want to pet your cat. Okay, now wait till he comes close. And then, creepy ghost hands, because of course you can't really pet your cat. You go left or right to pet different parts, and it's going to really enjoy that. Let's throw discus. Let's see. Oh, this is always fun. You can throw regular frisbees, you can throw light up frisbees, or you can throw the sombrero. And as my wife pointed out, these cats act an awful lot like dogs. Way too excited for cats. He's going to go fetch that hat. Now, as you can see, like they have these little mini things for you to do. which confused me just a little bit because it's like they encourage you not to play with your cat. Huh. There, fine. Here's another thing. The whistle is how you get them to do tricks. Gestures make them do the tricks. Here's another one for you. This is a Okay. And if you don't want to make yourself look like a fool, you can always just say, play dead. Play dead. And they respond to verbal commands as well. Here's another little mini game. You play with the larger balls. It's basically just um, toss it to them and they hit, they'll hit back to you. Oh, come on. There we go. You basically just put your arm out in the direction the ball is going. Which doesn't seem very challenging, but it's actually very relaxing. And there's a, um, a section later that you play a mini game for, and it does multiple balls, which is a lot more interesting. Speaking of mini games, let's see. When you click on the um, map area you're already on, it'll show you I have one, two, three, four, five different meta, um, mini games. Let's do Piggy Skittles. I'll just show you a couple of these. Each area has five mini game areas to unlock. Now, you'll see from this one, they're not very in depth, but they're still enjoyable. I remember the captain's house frolicking on the screen, laughing, 
Flashing now then, I'll show you that like it's not really as hard as everybody's been saying as far as you see I mean as long as you aim correctly I guess it doesn't really have any problem picking up where you're trying to aim And any of these toys you see me playing with in the mini games, you can also play with your animal anytime. Um, the graphics are gorgeous, the music isn't like distracting, and the only thing that's really annoying about this thing is the little flying raccoon. Alright. So basically, push forward and turn. It's just like Joyride as far as the steering goes, which works just fine for me. Um, the game is really very, very charming. Um, I will probably end up getting it even just so I can unlock everything. Um, it's definitely not for diehard gamers, but anybody you think would be won over by cute, um, this is definitely the game for them. Oh, I wish that raccoon thing would stop talking. Let's see. Let's do... We'll do one more toy. We already threw Frisbee Cat. Put it away. And as you can see, the cat really interacts with every part, even in the menus, the cat can see what you're selecting. Ah, here's a fun thing. This is just really to give you a taste of the game. Your house down here is where you put your trophies when you win them. I've unlocked three of the lands. There's three more, so there's six total. Each one has five mini games. So you're looking at about 30 mini games. They do repeat. I mean, I know there's at least between these, there's two races and then a couple of different where you toss things. Um, the game is a lot of fun. Um, I don't know how fun it would be for a long time, but there is like the guilt factor of not paying attention to your cat, which could actually, oh yeah, you gotta stick your tongue out at me, which could make people come back and play more. Also, there's different cats to play with, and it's something cute to show off when you have friends over, I guess. Um, and the game absolutely accomplishes what it meant to accomplish. It was, I don't think it was ever supposed to be for anybody that truly enjoyed like gaming as most people think it of gaming. But, you know, uh, the graphics are great and every time I start to get a little annoyed at the game, something new comes up and it's just kind of charms me all over again. I just, that's the way I would explain uh, describe this game to someone who asked about it. It's very charming. Uh, so, like, out of a 10 score for this game, I'd give it an 8. It definitely, I mean, maybe not for me personally forever, but, like, for somebody that likes this kind of thing, I can see this going over very well. Um, this is Lawrence. Please like, subscribe. And you might want to check out my new blog. It's lawrencerabon.blogspot.com. Thank you very much. Good night.